We are in the Windy City with Matt Sevchek. Max has been farting up a storm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> so, we are here in Chicago. <laughs> the only wind right. in this city is coming out of Max's butt. <laughs> He's been farting on my bed every day. More like the break windy city for Max. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so we're here in Chicago. Came to visit Matt. We hey. just saw Contraband. Um, we did. I'll, I'll go ahead and start. Um, I I'll loved it. Start. I loved Contraband because it was just a pretty simple movie. There wasn't a bunch of crazy action. Oh, there was some fun action, but like it just none of it was over the top. It just seemed like a very simple concept of you know let's put Mark Wahlberg in some sticky situations, <laughs> see him weasel his way out of it, and that's that's all I need. For a good movie going experience. What about you guys? It was it was very different than it seems in the previews I'd say. Like they spend a lot of time on the ship and it's more about how you smuggle. Like they go to the where where were they? They're in Panama. They're in Panama. And they had to get fake money or whatever. It was really good and it was kind of Mark Wahlberg in all these sticky situations. Yeah, and for about I'd say about the first twenty minutes you're like, Well, this is a l I thought it was a little boring. I, I appreciated they tried to give the characters a little bit of personality. But then after that, man, it picks up and it never stops. Yeah, it was surprisingly good, I It's thought. just like, man, how's Mark Wahlberg going to get out of this one? Yeah. And he does. Well, I don't want to spoil anything. He does. Yeah, I'm pretty much same as with you guys. I was surprised by it. Uh, liked it a lot. I liked that it was, like you said, a lot more... I don't know about more realistic than other ones, but they went into details in this you know they don't usually go into in heist movies or smuggling movies there's a good Um, twist which i didn't think there's gonna be any twists really yeah i didn't think it was a very good twist i mean one one of the characters it wasn't so much a twist it was a it made it stickier the situation stickier yeah Yeah, kind of a betrayal it wasn't like uh it was yeah i don't know anyways um Ben Foster, I didn't even know he was in it, but I love Ben Foster. Ben Foster was really good in it. He was a big part in it, and he was really good in it. I mean, everybody has, like, a good motivation. Nobody's just evil for no reason. I don't like Ben Foster, because he broke up with Kirsten Dunst and really broke her heart. Yeah, isn't that kind of a good thing, though? I mean, that's she's single, right? I don't want to date her. I just want her to be happy. <laughs> um, Giovanni Ribisi is also in it, and he, he he's probably the only thing that's kind of over the top. I but, thought he was really good. I thought he had cool little. I don't know what I had. that were that were really cool. Well, from like from the previews, it seems like he's gonna be this really over the top, goofy character. And in the movie, he's actually a lot better. Like that's the only thing I was like, <laughs> I'm probably not gonna like him too much. But. He talked in kind of a quirky way. I don't know. I really liked his character. Yeah, he was quirky. Right. He, I don't know. I'm. I don't know how I felt about him. Yeah. I've never. Right. I've never been anyway, like. Anyway, go nailed see it. it if you want to see just kind of a cool sort of heist movie. If you're into. <clears throat> You know, it's not all self-referential and winking at itself like, you know, an Ocean's Eleven heist movie. It's just kind of a simple, let's get these guys in yeah, it's good. crazy situations. You okay, I got, some, I got some better or worse movies. These all have a theme. I was going to have you guys guess, but it's really too hard. Let's still guess. All right. Uh, the Mighty Ducks. Better. I don't know. That's a Original? classic. Um, it's bad. Today, it's better. Worse. When we were children... Mighty Ducks is better, I mean. Yeah, that's true. But today... Okay, uh, Boogie Nights? I'd say better. I didn't really like Boogie Nights. Uh, I love Boogie Nights. I liked better than Boogie Nights. really good. Oh, I'm going to say worse than Boogie Nights, but only slightly. Analyze this. Better. 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 Blades of Glory? Way better. Way better. Way better. Okay, so we have Blades of Glory. We're going to give our audience a chance to get this, too. Mighty Ducks... Boogie Nights. Boogie Nights. Analyze this. Analyze this. Something about ice skating. It's a, no. It's not a fair. It's not a fair one. I mean, they all had the same producer. No. I don't know. Mark Wahlberg was in Boogie Nights. He wasn't in but Blades. Emilio anymore. Estevez was in. <laughs> <laughs> so. They all feature songs performed or written by Mark Wahlberg. Wow. <laughs> what song was written by Mark Wahlberg? They they all they all feature songs that were I know which one, what was this one by Mark in this movie no he was just, I I don't know that he did any music in this one he was just, but those four movies right those did. four movies feature oh uh, okay oh so did you just look up every like new kids on the block movie 
songs with New Kids on the Block? No, I just went to Mark Wahlberg's page and then hit his soundtrack reference or credits and we don't need to go through how the movies. <laughs> Explain no. it. Oh, damn. Anyways, Kate Beckinsale also and looks good. Still looking good. I felt bad for her character because she really she got the shit of the stick. Yeah, because she didn't. The only problem I had is she she didn't ever do anything. Like if she just had, she just bought a gun. Just buy a gun. Well, yeah. or get out of town if people are yeah. threatening your kids. Like, yeah. She can't go out of town with a family member or a friend or. I mean, just get the hell well, out of there. I, you got kids. You that's know? true, but it kind of escalates. You don't hang like, around. It kind of his everyone's kind of like, don't worry about it. Yeah. They, she didn't know about the, all the betrayals. And obviously, and everything. she didn't know that Ben Foster was gonna do what he did. Yeah, I don't think it matters. I think you got somebody threatening the lives of your kids. You get the hell out of town until yeah. your husband gets back. That's and, and I think that's true. you know that's what true. that happens in most movies, but you know what that happens in most like when you're watching like crime dramas and stuff. You're like, why didn't they leave? You know what I mean? Like, just it's hard to. Yeah. Maybe we'll your do life. a special where like a special of this movie. If the character had just made one smart decision, the whole movie would have been ruined. <laughs> That'd be a good special. Yeah. All right, go see Contraband. Thanks it's worth for watching. The money, especially in January when all the movies are shit. Yeah, it's a good one.